Hello my YouTube friends. Today I want to show you how to work with different forms of media in your live stream. I'm going to show you video, sound clips for sound effects and soundboards, and sound media services like Spotify. I'm also going to show you window and display captures for games and YouTube videos and anything else you might want to do. You're going to know how to integrate any type of media that you want into your live streams today with sound. So let's get to it. My goal with this channel is to help you become a better live streamer and maybe entertain a little bit in the process. So take a second and leave me a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, kick that thumbs up. It really does help YouTube to share this video with a wider audience. My analytics say that 80% of the folks watching my content are not subscribed. And if you're one of those 80%, please consider subscribing. It goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. And it's totally free. So thanks. A video about live streaming tools wouldn't be complete without today's sponsor, Envato Placeit. I use Placeit in every live stream for my wait screen, my countdown timer, my branding bumper, as well as my logo and my channel banners, and even some of the overlay assets. They have everything a streamer could need all in one place. Now I created my logo in just a few minutes by choosing from one of the designs and then completely customizing everything from the color graphics and placement to the text and the fonts. And that logo can easily be added to all the videos that you can build and use in all kinds of different content that you might create for YouTube, like live or recorded. I absolutely love Envato Placeit and you will too. Click the link in the description below and check it out for yourself. Supporting the sponsors that support this channel is a great way to help me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. We're gonna cover this in three parts. First, I'm going to show you how to work with video media that's on your local hard drive. Second, I'm going to show you how to use sound clips and music sources. And third, I'm going to show you how to use window capture and display capture with audio sources. So let's jump right in. So let's say we wanted to add a video to this. We just click the plus and we're going to go to media source. And what we're going to do is we'll just add a video. You might want to name this specifically if you use multiple videos. We're going to go to browse and we're going to go ahead and find a video of our choice to use for this. I'm going to go to my old standby, the usual video that I use for anything like this. We'll loop it just in case it's short, but you may not want to. And we're going to click OK and there's our video. And now we're just going to size it up and we're going to put it wherever we want on the screen. Now we could switch this up and we could make this full screen and I can move my camera in front of it and we can make that small so we can have commentary about what's going on in the video as well on our live stream. Makes it really easy. Uh, you can also select the video in your sources and you can adjust right here. You can pause it, play it, stop it, restart it, anything you want to do. I can move the slider to any point in the video that I want. And if I right click here and I go into properties, I can actually adjust the speed of the video. So there we go. I can have it play much faster than what's normal or much slower if I want. There is a whole heck of a lot that you could do with video assets. Um, I've used them as animations in my background and all kinds of other things. But this gives you a little bit of a basics of how to use video media for your live stream. Easy enough, let's do some audio sources now. There are a couple of different ways to add audio sources to your live stream. And the first way, we're gonna click the plus and we're gonna go into media source once again. We can call this media source whatever we want. I'm just gonna name it after the clip here. Click OK. I'm gonna go and browse and find an audio clip that I want and we'll just add it in here. We can loop it if we want it to play over and over again. In this case, we don't. We can speed it up, slow it down, all that kind of stuff, but we're just gonna go ahead and click this and you can see that it's very loud. And there we go. So now it's playing that audio clip. It's just a short soundboard clip. So in order to play it or not play it, I can hit this eyeball to turn it off. And then when I turn it on, you can see that it plays that clip. 
always turn your clips off, your audio clips off when you're using audio clips like this because if you don't, every time that you enter this scene, it's going to play that audio clip and that can get pretty annoying if you're using it for a soundboard. And if you wanted to use it in a soundboard situation, you can go into your hotkeys and you just have to find that actual area here. Let's see if we can find, here it is. So I can just set this to a hotkey to turn it on and off. And then as long as I remember to click it to turn it on and click it to turn it off, we can use it as a soundboard and have any audio sources that we want. And you can use this also if you're gonna play some music or something like that. But what if you wanted to use a streaming service like Spotify or something like that? Well, we can go ahead and start Spotify. And here we go. So now we have Spotify loaded up. And if I click play, I can hear it through my speakers, which isn't really what I want. We would want to send it to headphones or something like that. But what we can do is there are a couple of different ways to capture this. So we're going to go into settings and we're going to take a look and see what our audio settings are. And you can see my audio settings are going to my headset earphones zone wireless plus. So we want the audio for that to go into our headphones as well. So what we're going to do, I'm going to turn on my headset and that should push that audio into these headsets when I play Spotify. This, we're gonna just set it up to headphones, and there we go. So now, when we play this, turn it up, you can see we can't hear it. It's going to my headphones, which is great. Turn my headphones down a little bit. So now all we have to really do is capture our desktop audio. So I'm gonna click this plus, and we're gonna go to audio output capture, because it's capturing output audio. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call this music, and click OK, and then I'm going to select my headphones right here and click OK. So now we have music coming in right there, and you can see that it's playing my headphone music. And I can turn it up, turn it down, and there we go. So that's playing all of the music and picking it up on the stream. One of the things that you have to understand when you use music like this and you're capturing desktop audio is that anything that plays on your desktop is gonna be captured. So that means if you're playing a game or you get some kind of notification or anything like that, that's all gonna come in through the live stream. But there is an actual solution and that is with this really cool plugin that I'm gonna show you how to install right now. The link is in the description. We're just gonna go up to the top right and click go to download and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to download the setup exe you can also download the zip file but this just installs it right for you we're going to save that file then we're going to go into our windows manager we're going to get this when we run it we're going to run it anyways and then we're going to go ahead and accept the agreement and click next you just want to make sure that this is actually your obs download folder Mine is in an unusual location. Yours is probably going to be in C program files. So just verify that you're going to the correct folder and then click next and then next again and then install. And once you're done, you can just click finished. All right, so now that that plugin is installed, what we can do is we're gonna delete the music one that we set up here with desktop audio. And what we can do is click the plus again and we're gonna go into application audio output capture. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in here Skype and all we have to do is have specific window selected and we're gonna select a specific window. In this case, we're gonna select Spotify. I'm gonna click OK. So I titled this wrong, obviously. We're gonna rename this. We're gonna call it Spotify. You can do it with any audio source, but there we go. Now we've got Spotify in here. All we have to do to see that it's working is go ahead and press play. And there we go. We can see our Spotify is working. Now you can use Win Audio Capture to separate any audio sources. That includes Discord, your games, even a web browser. You can use it to grab those sources and separate them out from others and adjust the volume independently. It is really, really an awesome plugin. Now the fun stuff. So let's see how to add web browsers and audio from that sort of stuff. What we're gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna show you a couple of different ways. The first way I'm gonna show you is window capture and let's call this YouTube. 
All right, and now all I need to do is go ahead and capture the window that I'm looking for. And there it is right there. We can click OK to capture this window. And now we have it. So maybe we don't wanna see the whole window experience. We can hold down the Alt key and crop in just the areas that we wanna show on our screen. And you see the line turns green when you're cropping it. That lets you know you're using a cropped source. And there we go. So now we have that cropped like that and we can put it anywhere we want and you'll see when I go ahead and I play this source we don't actually hear any audio there's no audio devices picking it up or anything like that so let's go ahead and pause this and we can use desktop audio to pick this up once again you could click plus and we can go to our audio output capture we can just call this one desktop and click OK and we can drop it down and select our headphones which is where our audio's coming into at the moment and when we play it again desktop audio so there we go but there is another way if we don't want to use that we can go back to the win audio capture so let's go ahead and remove this by clicking remove and we'll click the plus we'll go to application audio output and we're going to call this web and click OK and we're gonna drop this down and we're gonna select that exact Chrome window that we're using or whatever it is. I believe we're using Firefox in this case. So we're gonna select the Firefox window, click OK. Now when we click play in our Firefox window, we can see we're getting our audio right here from our web browser. And it's really that simple. Now there is another way to do this as well. Maybe we don't want to use the window capture, which is this right here. Well, what we can do is we can go ahead and remove the window capture. And instead, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a display capture. We'll just call this YouTube. And sometimes using a display capture is much better. We'll go over here and find the right display. There we go. Because uh, you don't seem to have the same kind of problems. I think you get a sharper picture and we can do the exact same thing on a display capture. We can crop it up so we only see the video that we're looking for. And you can see that looks like a really nice sharp picture. I think it plays better when you use a display capture. You can do this for games or whatever you want. There we go. And since we already added our audio in here, you can see that isn't going to change when we play it we still get the, the audio and we get a good picture and that's playing off a website so that would be how you would add a screen capture for a website that would also work just fine for adding video games you can use a window capture or you can use something like a display capture like i did on the second example if you want to know how to add cool transitions to your live streams, check this video out. Big thanks to Envato Placeit for sponsoring this video. There are links to Placeit and all the other sponsors that support this channel in the description below under sponsors. Supporting the sponsors that help keep the lights on here in the studio is the best way that you can help me continue to create content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.